definitely the luck of the draw, I think, you know. So <laughs> we flew out on Saturday, as most of you are aware if you watched my vlog. We flew out on Saturday to attend the Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Convention 2018 in San Antonio, Texas. And right before our day of travel, a nor'easter hit. And it was a little bit scary before we left because we didn't know if our flight would be canceled last moment a lot a lot of people did get their flights canceled but we only got high winds and rain and that by the time our departure we were able to depart and and everything was okay so we've had an amazing couple of days at the convention we did the river walk we did all sorts of fun stuff that you've seen a lot of clips of and then all of a sudden we got wind of another nor'easter coming in to home and i checked on the airline flight and of course our flight was in danger of being canceled at that point in time they said suggested calling the airline and so i called the airline and they said sure enough you know both our flights are in that high zone of whatever where they would be you know potentially having being impacted by the nor'easter that was coming in of course they said it could fizzle out, you never know, but they did strongly suggest we stay on top of it. So we ended up rebooking and the earliest we could get out two seats together on our flights was Friday night. So here we are and we're like oh, two days, you know, extra that we hadn't really planned on because we figured we'd be home Wednesday, no big deal. And um, we didn't pack for two extra days, even though I did bring a lot of, as Jay would say, extra stuff, but he doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Yeah, I never know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so he did find us an Airbnb, and we took an Uber ride over here, and I'm going to show you the clip of the place. So we just checked into our Airbnb. I'm telling you, this is so sweet. Of course, you know, we've all our little luggage here. So it's in a really cute little residential neighborhood, if you can see out there. It's a, a little... I don't know, three quarters of a mile walk down to the brewery where the river walk starts and where we can. Place is immaculate. And look at that. Wine. For us. So as you can see, it's really adorable. I am very, very pleased with the accommodations. We have a little bit of a walk to go to this brewery place, which I guess is a popular tourist area where there are shops and restaurants and all sorts of stuff. It's like three quarters of a mile? A third of a mile. A third of a mile down the street. So we'll see how easy of a walk it is. And from there, we, we can get into the artsy area of the river walk, which is the part of the river walk that is supposedly beautiful flowers and really beautiful art and all that stuff and sort of probably the least busy tourist part of the river walk. So we're going to do that. I don't know if we're going to go out on a boat ride tonight or tomorrow, but that's our plan. We're going to try to make the best of it being stranded for two days extra in Texas. At least there's no snow here. <laughs> so where are we, honey? We're under a bridge on the river walk in San Antonio, Texas. And we've been walking from way, way up there for uh, about two miles now? I think a mile and a half, maybe. mile and a half in the sun. Thank Is God we have sun block. I think so. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> I think hard to I tell. Oh, yeah, I see it. Uh, right there. <laughs> so we decided we're going to be adventurous and head down. Head downtown. And thank God we have sunblock, but we didn't bring water. So we're a little stupid tourists. But we're not lost. And this is sort of what it kind of looks like. We're almost to downtown area. So you can start to see some of the, the bigger buildings and high rises and, and whatnot. So it's really cool. Is that you behind me? I'm behind you. That's Mr. J behind me. Hey guys, so Jay and I decided to take a walk and come down here to the Pearl area this morning. And when we came yesterday, we were really intrigued by this really beautiful hotel. So we decided to stop in and absolutely love that they have this fireplace going. 
guests to enjoy. It's just a really pretty courtyard environment. And I think it's in the 60s, which is cold by Texas standards, but not too bad by New Hampshire standards. So I wanted to just share this with you. So this is the inside of the lobby area. Isn't this amazing? This is an old brewery. Wow. I'm like totally loving this. And this is the library. Ah, wow. I want to check out what the rates are in this hotel. Can you imagine? That <laughs> would be awesome. It really would be. It would be awesome. Wow. I would love to stay here. I wonder though, Jay, do you uh, think this could be haunted? No. Never know. No? You never know. Hmm. Could be. I haven't seen anything yet. Is this a sampling for beer? <laughs> this, haunted or not, well, I don't know if it's haunted, <laughs> but this is absolutely awesome. I have to find out how much, how much it would be to stay in this place. Isn't this like amazing? We're trespassing. <laughs> yep, that's the spirits. So this is a, this is unbelievable. But this is must be like if you wanted to sit here and enjoy spirits. This is an amazing, amazing hotel. It's got to be haunted. It just has to be. I'm going to have to look up the history of this place. I'm going to turn around so you can see. Imagine that. Just gorgeous, old, rustic, lovely. Well, maybe not lovely to some people, but to me. You want to get a drink? I can never tell if it's on or not. I thought I would double check it. But it's definitely on. And this is a, just a really cool park behind me. So we've been on a mission because JJ wants some cream and we haven't found any ice cream for JJ yet. No, but I'm all of a sudden getting hungry. And oh, hungry. he's getting hungry. Okay, I guess I have to take and feed you lunch. Where do you want to go for lunch? Oh my gosh, how is that thing? Delicious. Wow. Oh, you're So we arrived. In Manchester. And poor Jay caught the shuttle to go down to the long-term parking where the car is. While we were gone, there was a while we were gone there was a nasty nor'easter and a lot of people are still without power. And our car is way over there somewhere in the outdoor parking. And I am hoping, I don't know, we don't have any snow gear with us, we have no gloves, we have no shovel, we have no ice scraper. And I'm alone in here. Well, just about. I'm waiting with the luggage while he does that. I just hope you can get the car out. Happy Saturday, guys. It is a little after 10 o'clock. I don't think I've slept this late since high school. But thankfully my son was able to get us all shoveled and plowed out so when we came home we just were able to pull the car up but look at all that snow when I left there was none none looks like a winter wonderland um, here's the view out my window oh my gosh those are my lilac bushes oh my gosh they all collapsed wow I wonder if I'm not gonna have lilacs this summer spring Oh no, my Rosa Sharon over there has collapsed. 
I don't know if you can see that. That was a long, that was a tall, beautiful rose of Sharon, and it's all collapsed. I wonder if it'll come back. My lilacs in the front are gone, too. Wow. Must have been some heavy snow. So, we arrived home in the middle of the night, Saturday, well, in the middle of the morning, Saturday morning, our plane arrived at 135. Our car was buried. I think you probably saw some of the clips, but our car was buried. By the time we got our car out of the lot and we were on the road for home, it was 222. We got home, it was a little after 3. We got to bed at 4 a.m. So yesterday was crazy because today is my mom. Shh. Surprise 90th birthday party. I'm so excited. So my mom thinks she's going to my granddaughter's birthday party a week early, and she's buying it so far. But... So yesterday I shopped, I did meatballs, I did chicken wings, I did big salad. So we're just really hectic preparing and we're going to bring it up to my sister Heidi. She's got a bunch of stuff, a bunch of food. And we invited a bunch of my mom's friends. So like, I'm like, oh my gosh, did we actually pull off a surprise for my mother? Oh, that's wild. So um, Jay and I heading down to go pick them up and um, head on over to my granddaughter's birthday party. <laughs> And off we go. Happy birthday <gasps> to your mom. Happy birthday to my mom. Happy birthday, dear Oma. We call her Oma, which is grandma in German. Even though she's my mom, I still call her Oma because the kids all grew up calling her Oma. So, so that makes like, sense. Even, even your dad calls her Oma. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to pick her up and... Um, I get we got to keep her out of the trunk because we have a trunk full of food and she'll she'll be like wondering why we're bringing that much food for Paige's birthday party because my granddaughter we, whenever they have a birthday party they don't have a whole lot of food so we never bring like food food um, so mom thinks she's going to Paige's birthday party and it's really her surprise 90th <laughs> it's gonna hopefully, be fun hopefully we'll pull it off she has no idea yet nope. none none so we are heading to the, what is that place called there right by the lake where the party is? It's like, um, it. it's in Stratford, but it's sort of like a, um, some kind of hall. A, yeah, for my granddaughter's eighth birthday. Woohoo! And in the back seat is the lovely Mrs. Mala and <laughs> Mr. Mala. Mr. Mala, hello. And my mom is actually going to have a birthday this week too and my sister how old is heidi gonna be heidi's gonna be my god 56. my baby sister's gonna be 56 i can't believe that yep. yeah and my mom is gonna be guess what oh wow don't say it 90. Nine zero. <laughs> we'll have to go out to eat and celebrate with 90 candles on a cake oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> so that's it that's the Why, hello there! Hello! Surprise! 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 So mom, all the way up here, 
Did you have any idea this was for you, really? She's not answering me. So-so. <laughs> So-so? She had an you had a Yeah. Well, that's what I was trying to tell you with Paige's birthday. You said everybody's here and that thing is close with the... Because they got flooded. That's when you didn't believe it. Everybody comes to Haiti, they all get so, we got her here. We definitely got her here, but it was a little bit difficult. <laughs> so, um, it's her 90th birthday. I just hope, guys, that I look half as good at 90 as she does. So, take a look at her skin. So check out the crown. <laughs> she's gonna, she's gonna kill me when she sees this video published, but that's the crown. just an incredible week all the way from San Antonio, Texas back to New Hampshire. Right now it is March 13th and we are having our nor'easter number three. Jay just told me on the news they were talking about another storm brewing for next week. I'm like I'm so over winter. I am like so over winter. But anyways, if you stay to the very end, thank you all so much for watching the video. And I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of my mom's surprise birthday. She did get suspicious when we talked about the last minute venue change when we tried to tell her that the place that the pages party was flooded and that my sister volunteered to have her house. My mother just couldn't figure out my sister volunteering her house even though my sister lives like 10 minutes away from my son but you know with all of the little school kids and and all of that stuff so she got a little bit suspicious but I don't think she expected what she got so it was just an absolutely wonderful wonderful surprise 90th birthday for my mom and if you're uh, on Facebook and you follow me on Facebook or friend or friends on Facebook you probably saw the album with all the photos I'll insert some as I'm closing this vlog out so you can see some of the family pictures it was really really a wonderful wonderful day and to be able to celebrate my mother turning 90, all of us together, even though we were missing my brother, all of us together was just extra special. So next year, August, my dad turns 90. I am definitely blessed. Thank you all so much for being a part of the journey and for watching my vlog. I hope you all had a great week and hugs to you all. Bye guys.